Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run games like Doom 1 and Doom 2 natively on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, as well as getting some of the more modern mods, for example Brutal Doom, working as well. So Doom is one of those classic games where there are many source ports, so these are open source recreations of the engine, which allow the games to run on modern operating systems with modern features. So I'll leave a link to this website, MacSourcePorts.com, where I discovered that the GZ Doom open source engine actually has a native Apple Silicon Mac version of this engine. So this source port is going to be used to actually play the game natively on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for zdoom.org forward slash downloads. And here we're going to be able to get a native Apple Silicon Mac version of the Mac port of this engine. So the first thing we're going to do is to download the Macintosh source port here. The other thing that we're going to need to acquire are the WAD files. So these are going to be files that are contained within the commercial game. Even though the original Doom engine was made open source, the actual files, for example, the sound effects, the levels, etc., those are all still commercial parts of the game. What I do recommend is that you go ahead and buy them and then we can extract the files out of the installers. For example, we could buy a DRM free copy of Duty from GOG.com and we go ahead and download the offline game installers. So for example, let's say we download this one and then we are left with this EXE file here. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for my video tutorial on how to extract these type of installer files. You can also buy Dune 2 from a storefront like Steam.com and then you can extract the files from your Steam folder there. Also, if you followed my previous tutorial about how to get Doom 3 BFG edition working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and you downloaded those files. Then you'll also know that Doom 3 BFG edition also contains the original Doom WADs as well, so you can also use these files to load them into GZ Doom. Or there are plenty of ways to go ahead and download the Doom WAD files from the internet. For example, here we can get it easily from archive.org. So for example, here I'm gonna download Doom 2 Hell on Earth version 1.9. I'm just gonna click on this file. And once that's done, I can go ahead and extract the WAD file from the zip, and we have this Doom2.wad. So once we have our WAD file, we're gonna go ahead and install GZ Doom. So I'm gonna double click on the GZ Doom zip that I downloaded earlier and then we have this extracted file here. I want to move GZ Doom into my applications folder and now in my applications folder I can go ahead and double click on this application and that's saying we need to put the WAD file within the application support folder. So basically what we need to do is to go back to our downloads folder, we're going to control click on the doom2.wad or another WAD file that you've got, press the copy button, then we want to press the go button here and then we're going to hold down the option key which will reveal the library folder here. So hold down the option key here, click library, then we're going to double click on application support, and then we need to make a folder called GZ Doom. So if we don't have a folder already, we click file, new folder, and type in GZ Doom, and return. And then we'll double click on GZ Doom, and then control click on the space, and click paste item, and then we've pasted our Doom 2 WAD in there. Then we go to our applications folder again, and then we double click on GZ Doom, and now GZ Doom has loaded, and so if I go ahead and load a new game, and now we have the kind of classic Doom 2 gameplay, but within a modern source engine. So we have the WASD keys for movement, and we have mouse lock enabled by default, and it's kind of working quite well. So if you like the kind of classic gameplay of Doom, you can just kind of leave it like this, and you can just continue playing the game normally. So we have Doom 1, Doom 2, etc. All of those WAD files you can go ahead and buy and download, and then add it to this source port engine. But what I'd like to be able to do is to spice it up a little bit using a modern mod, for example, Brutal Doom, which really amps up the graphics and the immersion and adds new weapons and makes the original Doom experience a lot more interesting. So I'm gonna leave a link to the description for this particular mod page. What we're gonna do is to go to the files section here, and then we're gonna scroll down and then download Brutal Doom version 21, which is the latest version of this mod. So once we're here, we're gonna click the download now button here, and then it's gonna start this download. In our downloads folder, we're going to double click brutal v21.rar. We'll extract this here. And then we have this brutal v21.pk3. The way that this works is a little bit awkward. I'm going to move this to my desktop and then we're going to get the applications folder up. And what you have to do is you drag and drop this file onto the GZ Doom application. So I'm going to drag this there. And now it's loaded up brutal doom for us already. What you can also do with this file is just rename it Brutal Doom and then put it in your applications folder. When you have GZ Doom installed, you should have this GZ Doom icon. And because the file association of the PK3 file is with GZ Doom, if you just double click on this, this should just load the game up straight away. Here we can see that GZ Doom is an Apple type application, so it means that it's running natively on the M1 ARM chip. And to be honest, the actual graphics and changes that Brutal Doom makes to the game is actually quite demanding. So it's quite a good idea to have this as a native application so that it runs the best on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So by default, the rendering API is OpenGL, but you'll get much faster performance if you run this by Vulkan, which is using the Molten VK translation layer. And if you use this option, you're gonna get much higher frame rate. So as you can see, the gameplay of Brutal Doom is a little bit more interesting than the original vanilla Doom games, and it's definitely a cool way to play this game on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. 
So if you'd like to check out other videos that I've made, I've also made a video about running Doom 3 BFG on the N1 Apple Silicon Mac, and I'll be covering more macOS source ports in the future. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.